Lecture 34 covers section 9.6. At the end of today's lecture, you should be able to apply the concept of isentropic efficiency to turbines, pumps, and compressors. To begin, let's recall an isentropic process. Isentropic process is one where our entropy remains constant. This is an ideal scenario for there are no irreversibilities associated with this process. In actuality, entropy will increase during any process due to irreversibilities. And if we look at our HS diagram to the left, this results in an increase in enthalpy in our final state. Our isentropic efficiency is defined as the actual desired quantity, i.e. our actual work out of our turbine, per the ideal quantity. That is, if we are evaluating the change of enthalpy for a turbine, our isentropic efficiency would be H1 less H2, which is our actual work, per H1 minus H2S, which is our ideal work. Now let's look at example one. Say a steady state steam turbine has an inlet with a pressure of 500 kPa and a temperature of 320 degrees centigrade. Steam leaves the turbine with a pressure of 100 kPa. If the efficiency of the turbine is 75%, we want to determine the work developed. Also, we want to determine the work developed if this was assumed to be a 100% efficient turbine. For us to begin, we recognize that the actual work of the turbine per our mass flow rate is given as our difference of enthalpies, H1 less H2 where H1 is the enthalpy at our inlet and H2 is the enthalpy at our outlet. The work of the ideal turbine per mass flow rate is given as H1 minus H2S. Now, our isentropic efficiency is given as H1 minus H2 per H1 minus H2S is equal to 0.75, or the quantity H1 minus H2, our actual work, is equal to our efficiency, 0.75, times H1 minus H2S. Now using EES, we're going to determine the enthalpy and entropy at state one using a pressure of 500 kPa and a temperature of 320 degrees centigrade. Our enthalpy at state one, i.e. the inlet of our turbine, is 3,105.2 kJ per kg. Our entropy at state one is 7.530 kJ per kg k. Now our enthalpy at state two, considering an isentropic process, is found using a pressure of 100 kPa and the entropy found via state one. That is, our enthalpy at state 2S is 2,741.7 kJ per kg. Thus, the ideal work of our turbine, which is H1 minus H2S, is the difference of these two enthalpy values. And our work per mass flow rate of our ideal turbine is found to be 363.5 kJ per kg. Now, the work of the actual turbine is simply the efficiency times the work of the ideal turbine, or 0.75 times 363.5 kJ per kg, or the work of our actual turbine is 272.625 kJ per kg.